Hi everyone, I'm going to go through question 9b. I've received um, an email from a few students now asking how to solve this question, so I'm just going to go through it for you. Uh, so it's asking you to simplify the expression and then replace x with negative 1 and y with 2, but you need to uh, simplify it first. Question 9a, you just directly replace your x's and y's with those values without simplifying, and then what you're doing in Question B, you're simplifying first and then replacing it, and you're comparing your answer. So you should have the same answer uh, for 9A and 9B. All right, so for this question here, um, just looking at the top, I would multiply the coefficients first. So 3 times 6 is 18. And then you're using the exponent rule, um, which says that if you're multiplying the same bases, you want to add the exponent. So we have an x cubed and x to the 1, so the same base of x, what you want to do is you want to add those two exponents. So 3 plus 1 is 4. And same thing for the y's, 1 plus 3 is also 4. Okay, so that's my top. The bottom, another way of writing this here, um, since it has an exponent of 2, just means that you're taking the same thing and multiplying it by itself. So negative 3xy multiplied by negative 3 x, y. Okay, it's just another way of writing it. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite the top. So I'm not doing anything at this point to, to that portion. And then the bottom, so now I'm multiplying negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9, and I'm using the exponent rule on the x's again. All right, so which says same base, multiply or add the exponent. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So x squared, and same thing for the y's. I'm going to end up with y squared. Okay, now I can divide the um, 18 by 9, which is 2. And I'm using the division rule, which says to subtract the exponents. So 4 minus 2 on the x's will give me squared. And for the y's, 4 minus 2 is also 2. So I'm left with 2x uh, squared, uh, y squared as my simplified uh, version. Okay, now I can use this information here, replace the x and the y with the correct values, and let's see what we get. So two, and then I'm gonna put the x in a bracket, negative one squared, and instead of y, I'm gonna put in a two, and that also gets squared. What does that give me? So negative one squared is one, and two squared is four. So 2 times 1 times 4 is 8. So I got 8 as my answer. For 9a, you should have uh, received 8 as well. All right, good luck. Let me know if you need some more help.